Okay, I'm kind of doing this on the fly, YouTube. <laughs> All right, this is uh, phase three of the easy blackout. So I've gotten my, I've got all of my parts laid out here, and it does come with. Um, I didn't say this in the unboxing, but it was in the two. There are the instructions, but it's pretty straightforward. You get a Velcro side, then you have the opposing, attaching um, hook and pile side of the tape. And it does come on a you know tape and here I've, I've already started here is the here are the panels so here's one I'm just gonna do this one right now and uh, see if I can get it all in in a video so basically what I did was I took the hook pile and I took the pile the hook part of the tape and the pile you hear that Part of the tape and I just put them together line them up and I've already done three sides here the bottom and the side and the top up there so that's one full panel and that's a 30 by 63 panel so basically let me see if I can do this uh, so again I put here's the hook pile there's the tape pile side of the uh, tape and I just put them together and then cut them, laid it out here on the on the on that vinyl vinylized um, window covering, and just gonna line it up, stick it on, and then take it over to the window and uh, apply it. So let's see if I can set my camera, my phone, <laughs> up here to watch me do this last piece. And uh, see if we can do that. Okay. So, again, and what I've got here is the black side um, is facing up. And, and I suppose you could do it either way. It doesn't matter, but that's what I'm doing. I figured I want it. I want it. And actually, I don't think I really did do it the way I wanted to. But so it doesn't really matter. It's gonna stick, one side's gonna to stick to the actual window seal, the other's gonna to stick to the, uh, the vinyl itself. But at any rate, I've done this one with the black side up. I may do the next one with the white side up. It doesn't, I don't ma guess it matters. But anyway, I've already cut it to, actually no, I have it. So I need to cut this piece to size because it's a little bit longer, a little bit longer than I need on this one. So it's gonna measure down to the end there, maybe just short of the end. And all you need on this is a pair of scissors. Hope you can see me on this. I'm just gonna cut that. And that's my excess there. And you'll see, here's the excess. Just hook and pile tape, double-sided. And I, uh, again, just kind of line those up press them together a little bit better than, than I just did and then cut the sides. So I've done that. So I'm going to go ahead and peel off the back of this and apply it a little at a time to the, uh, to the back of the window covering. So let's just line that up right there. Go up a few inches at a time. Just a couple of inches at a time. Walk my way down, down the back of this here. All right. Try to keep it within the confines of the of the vinyl. But yeah, pretty straightforward. I hope this tape is fairly strong. I, you know, I've used 3M before in, in other projects and it's usually pretty good. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that they designed this to be quite strong for the material in use. And then there's the excess and that's that. So now that I've got you know, all four sides and this is the other side of it I'm gonna go ahead and try to pause the video, move it over, put it up, and then let's see what it looks like when it's done. Okay.
Okay. All right, video is rolling. Hopefully I don't make a fool out of myself with this, but I'm gonna go ahead and just set my phone up here so I can see the window. I'm gonna go ahead and try to apply this one panel and see what we get. Um, so I'm going, and it doesn't, and this is, let's see if I can see that. That is the product, blackouteasy.com window cover. The easy way to a dark room so I'm gonna use that as my top and it doesn't matter because I'm gonna peel it off anyway but I just want you to see that and let's see if we can do this so first thing first I'm gonna just go ahead and take off the backing from the top piece here hopefully that's not a bad idea and see if I can get that stuck to start see how high up I want to have some overlap a little bit I don't want it to stick to the bottom of the about there I think I'm going to stick with that all right that's the top. I think we'll do the left side next. And I think I'll do this in phases. I don't know how straight I'm going to do it. I'm a little off already. That's kind of why I'm starting back here, this back window where it's not a lot of visibility. As a matter of fact, let me try this side too. Do a little each side. Okay. There. There. Pretty nice. Here. Adjust that a little bit here and there. This side. Pretty straight. And I'm kind of using this line inside the frame as my guide. of the window as my for this because I don't want any light at all to come in if possible I'm gonna block out all the light I can from this window okay it's a little wavy, but not a lot. And then when I put my curtains back in place, right there for the ends. All right. Look at that. So there you have it. <laughs> there you go. So, that is the end of the light. Of course, I can see I got a little wave in there. But again, you know, it's I can probably adjust it a bit here. Creases down there and what have you. But, I mean, the whole point is that here's light. There's no light. It is the absence of light. 
they get a little reflection from the from the can light but you know those are off when we're in movie mode and it gives an extra added benefit that this vinyl now stops any wind from in or out um enter, enter, entering or exiting the room so it should make the HVAC work a lot easier you know no heat coming in and no air going out so I've got four windows here and another window up front to do but uh that's the process pretty straightforward six panels one down five to go and uh instructions you get your hook and pile tape double sided and the end result is a blacked out window now I, again i saw this at audio advice live and i went into the martin logan room and in the martin logan room they had a window to the side of the home theater and it was blacked out and i didn't even know it was a window but i knew it had to be a window in the position it was in and i was like is that a window I'm like yeah and it helped acoustically it dampened the room and it blocked out all light, all light. So it was a perfectly dark room and it helped with acoustics. And I am like, this is a really good idea. So here you are. I've seen, I've purchased, and I've installed one. All right. Hey, that's it. I got more work to do now. So do the other five and that'll be it. I'll do a room tour again later for all these minute changes that we're doing here. All right, so thanks a lot for watching. That's been 12 minutes. I hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, maybe you like this product as well. Um, EasyBlackout.com. Or is that BlackoutEasy.com? Let me look at it one more time. BlackoutEasy.com. All right, that's it, guys. Talk with you later. Have a great rest of your day.